My name is David, and I'm a virtual computerized trainer of Train You Can, an accredited training network. In this video we going to look at the structure of a unit standard. A unit standard is a document that describes meaningful outcomes of learning that we want recognized nationally in South Africa, plus is smaller, more manageable outcomes that make up the specific outcomes plus that sets the standards of performance required as proof of competence, and forms the scope which competence is judged on. For example, a unit standard that deals with firefighting will, firstly, have valid outcomes that will be accepted all over in South Africa. Secondly, explain in detail what is required or what must be covered during the learning process. Thirdly, sets the minimum standards to find someone competent on, and fourthly, explain how, when, and where, the learner will be assessed. Basically, the unit standard will give specific instructions to the facilitator on how to train you, tell the assessor how, when, and where to assess you. Your final certificate received on completion will also be accepted anywhere in South Africa. Now that's something we all would like to have. Looking at the unit standard. On the top you will find the control box, as I like to call it. Here are some important things to look at. Point 1. Unit standard reference number There is thousands of unit standards on the SAKWA website, and the only way to differentiate between them is by means of a number. Point 2. The full description This description is the correctly description of this unit standard and should appear on your certificate. Point 3. NQF level The NQF level will tell us the complexity of the unit standard, also the type of people I want to see on the training course. Point 4. Credits The credits on the other hand will explain to us the length of the program, may this be a one-day, two-day, or three-day program, including the amount of workplace experience required in order to complete this program. Point 5. Registration end date and last date for achievement. Unit standards is only valid for three years, so checking that the unit standard is still valid is very important. Remember, your certificate cannot expire if completed and will be valid forever. However, new people will be trained on new programs. Below we can also see that this unit standard 117870 replaced 9953. So this means that the unit standard 9953 previously expired and was updated with a unit standard 117870. Normally the unit standard number only changes if any serious changes was made to this unit standard, so if 117870 expires and they decide to keep it as it, will the number stay the same, only the dates will be extended with 3 years. If they make any serious changes on it, will a total new number be issues. Point 6. Purpose of the unit standard The purpose of a unit standard includes its specific outcomes together with a concise statement of the contextualist purpose of the unit standard and what its usage is intended to achieve for, 1. The individual 2. The field or subfield 3. Social and economic transformation point 7. Learning assumed this captures and reflects the knowledge, skills, and understanding which are assumed to be in place. In other words, this is the minimum entry level requirements for a learner to take part in this course. Point 8. Specific outcomes The specific outcomes together reflect and capture the purpose of the unit standard in ways that are measurable and verifiable. For example, the unit standard for firefighting may have specific outcomes like a. Understanding how a fire is caused. b. Calling for help. c. Equipment and resources that can be used. This will also form the basis for your training course, meaning that the specific outcomes will become the sections of your training program. Point 9. Assessment Criteria The assessment criteria statement sets the guidelines for developing particular assessment tasks at learning program or services. The criteria also capture the requirements for fair, valid, and reliable assessment procedures that make use of tools and methods appropriate to the organization. In short, the assessor will assess you on all these assessment criteria, meaning that every single assessment criteria will appear in your test or assessment process. They will however break it down in more simple examples for you to understand. Point 10. 
Range statements Not all specific outcomes or assessment criteria require range statements. So you will find that some unit standards don't have range statement. The range statements relate directly to specific outcomes, assessment criteria, or even the standard. In other words, once you completed this program, you will be able to do what? Point 11. Embedded knowledge The embedded knowledge includes demonstrations of knowledge of the unit standard. For example, learners will be able to understand and explain something, or learners will be able to apply knowledge to do something. Point 12. Critical cross-field, outcomes Critical cross-field outcomes are in a matrix format that indicates how each outcome is addressed in the unit standard. The matrix captures the relationship of the purpose, specific outcomes, and embedded knowledge to the critical cross-field outcomes. Point 13. Who is responsible for this unit standard? Before we start, must we understand that more than one CETA or institution can make use of this unit standard, for example, firefighting procedures, first aid, customer service, or safety training? The responsible bodies who is responsible for this unit standard will appear at the bottom of this unit standard. Looking at this unit standard is it clearly that it is also used by a qualification 64697 that falls with the HW CETA. This means that the HW CETA can approve any programs for this unit standard. Point 14. Providers currently accredited to offer this unit standard, the providers who currently offer these programs will appear at the bottom of the unit standards, but we found that this list is mostly outdated. We strongly suggest that you contact the relevant CETA directly to confirm if the training provider is accredited to deliver this unit standard. Thank you for listening to me. Please remember to the train you can video blog on www.youcantrain.coza. Alternative you can visit our training website on www.trainyoucan.coza.